I do want to emphasize this is just preliminary. I'm not an accountant, um, and I suspect many of you in the room are not, but we will be covering some accounting terms and wanted to just make sure that everybody had the same basic level of understanding as we go through these slides. Uh, many of you know that the uh, village's fiscal year runs from May 1 to April 30th, so it's a, um, those 12 months, but they spanned two years. Um, certain financial disclosures are mandated under state law that the village reports to uh, the comptroller of the state each fiscal year. Um, two documents that we're going to talk specifically about are the annual financial report, and you see the citation there, um, it's a state law, and the audited financial statements. The village has not, and let me repeat that, the village has not complied with these statutory requirements since fiscal year 2021. There's no annual financial report available after 2021 and no audited financial statements um, uh, after 2021. Now, I find it extremely interesting that since 2021, no financial reports were made. Uh, it seems like people just neglecting their job or not doing their job. Uh, how is this possible? Who's responsible for this? Um, whose job was it to report? Uh, all these questions arise. So watching this is very um, disturbing, to say the least. So what that means is the information that we're providing you has not been thoroughly audited by a CPA, but we do have information coming from an, uh, an entity that essentially serves um, as the finance department um, of the village. Due to the village's failure to um, conduct an audited financial statement, there, we have to caveat the accuracy of the information, but we feel fairly confident. We wanted to highlight for you, particularly given overtime, what we saw is two um, outliers um, in officers, Officer Terry Young and Officer William Reed. Um, both of these individuals in the last two years have earned more in overtime than their base compensation. And you can see these numbers here. Um, Officer uh, Terry Young in FY 2023 earned $194,290 total, given the base salary and the overtime. And then, off, and then in FY 2024, that increased to $227,351, combining the base salary and the overtime. Officer Reed um, for FY 2023 uh, had a total earnings of $145,450, and officer, and in uh, FY 2024, 192 and 732. So with all this money being spent, all this overtime being given to officers, of course people are going to want to have answers and want understanding. So hopefully uh, we will get answers, we will get an understanding. Why is all this overtime being paid? Is there a necessity? Is it against the law? So I want to know, and I'm sure the people wants to know, this is a lot of spending and everybody can see that. So it's best to get an understanding on why. Is this spending necessary or is it unnecessary? And um, we'll see how it goes. We thought it also important for you to know that Acting Chief Lacey has accumulated over time. It's our understanding that he is not part of the collective bargaining unit and has not been uh, for some time, which under normal circumstances would mean that he is not entitled to overtime. But as you can see here, for FY22, FY23, and FY24, and in, we're now in fiscal year 2025, through those four years, he has accumulated $215,747,000 just in overtime. So there was clearly an increase year over year over year. And uh, it's almost doubled. When you look at it, um, year over year, it seems like it's almost doubled. These will definitely raise some questions. Uh, the people will need answers. Why is this guy getting so much overtime pay? What is he doing? Is it necessary? 
Because the main thing is, is there unnecessary spending? And when you look at the numbers, you're going to have questions, period. So we need answers. We want answers. The people do. Based on the records that we have reviewed since March of 2023, the village has been unable to pay all of its monthly expenditures uh, with available cash balance. Since that time, nearly every month, a portion of the checks approved and printed have been held by the village due to unavailability of funds. Per records from the John Kasparic firm, as of June 18, 2024, there are 589 checks totaling over $6 million that have been approved, printed, but not uh, transmitted to vendors. So we definitely need an explanation. Why are these checks not being sent out? Whose responsibility is it to send out the checks? Did the people that are supposed to send out the checks receive the checks? Where are the checks? When they were issued, where did it go? Why haven't they been sent out? These things don't make any sense to me. And I need to understand who is not doing their job and why not? And how do you hold the people accountable? So the mayor's in charge and she needs to get on this. If she sees these numbers, she needs to address them immediately. We, we thought it was important to give you a little bit of insight um, into credit card use um, by uh, village employees. Um, we do not have complete information yet. We want to highlight a couple of um, credit card purchases. So in particular, we were very concerned to see the top three purchases that were highlighted for you um, that were booked on uh, January 5th of 2023. That's roughly $40,000, a little more than that and credit card purchases on Amazon in the same day. And our understanding, and our understanding is that the village does not have an Amazon account. These are somebody using one of the credit cards and charging these amounts using your tax dollars. Well, there you have it. Uh, this is what uh, the investigation from Lori Lightfoot has uncovered uh, what they have presented. As we heard, this is not all the information. This might not be completely accurate, but uh, as time goes on, we will get more information. In the meantime, these things uh, should be addressed. So over the next couple of days, we will see what has unfolded. We will see the mayor's response to any of this. Um, maybe we will get some answers. Maybe we will get some actual documentation. And maybe we can get some closure. If you guys have any comments, put it in the comment section. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me how you feel this is going to go. Tell me what you think about what Mayor Lightfoot had to say. And tell me what you think Tiffany's response is going to be. Uh, once again, thank you. Uh, hit the like button if you haven't already, comment and subscribe.